blueberries. Well, the weather is just some peachy. Blue. Yeah, it so sure you is. I love it. Peaches. Let's take a look. We've had <laughs> all that rain move out for us. Now, there is still some rain down by the coast, but say you are leaving first thing in the morning and you've rented a beach house for spring break along the coast. You're uh, taking the kids from Greenville County because I know we're in spring break right now. Not everybody is, though. Uh, this rain is actually going to be moving out pretty fast. In fact, I don't know why that stayed on there. Sorry about that. And the Friday is not, of course, uh, part of this forecast because it's happened already. But as we go into Saturday, 81 degrees and then 77 on Sunday. Sunday will bring a better chance of rain along the coast as you go. But certainly enjoy what you can out of Saturday. Um, and then late on, sun on Sunday will bring the rain on St. Patrick's Day. So watch for a little bit of patchy fog tonight. Uh, decreasing clouds and temperatures in the mid-50s tomorrow afternoon. So nice. Uh, we'll get full-blown sun. It looks like for a few hours of the day and then clouds work their way back in upper 70s for you around Anderson and right around 70 in Asheville. So going hour by hour, notice how we stay mostly dry on Saturday and then Sunday. That's when we're going to have the clouds starting to push back uh, again. Our St. Patrick's Day right now looks mostly dry, uh, but watch to the south here as some showers will try to make an approach by 4 p.m. It's a system that's the one that's going to bring some rain to the beaches as well on Sunday. This could bring at least some quick light showers south of 85. So the farther south you live, the better your chance of getting a little bit of rain out of this one. And then we'll start to see all that thin out into Sunday night. And then our next big thing happens next week. It's going to be Monday nights chill, 23 to 27 across the mountains, upper 20s to low 30s in the upstate on Monday night. Now, this is not uncommon for this time of year. Typically, we see our final freeze between March 20th and 31st around Greenville down to Anderson. And it's even later uh, for spots like Gaffney and Union, Spartanburg, where your final freeze typically happens in the early part of April. That's why we say tax day, April 15th. That's a good time uh, to plant in the upstate because usually we're done with freezes by then. Not always the case. And the mountains, even later, can happen uh, well into the into May, but typically at the end of April. High temperatures will take a dive too this early in the week as we're going to be looking at low 60s on Monday, 50s Tuesday, then back up to those comfortable upper 60s. Uh, so we've got St. Patrick's Day on Sunday and then the first day of spring on Tuesday. It'll be breezy and ironically the chilliest day of the whole seven. So yeah, that's how it goes. Um, I want to say our first day of winter was also pretty warm. You know, it's just that's how things are. Uh, as we go into next week and toward the end of the week, we'll have a chance for rain, but some nice weather for spring breakers. It's a little bit on the cool side Monday and Tuesday and only that small rain chance for St. Patrick's Day. Into next week in the mountains, boy, it's going to be a cold one Monday night with 24 degrees and then 60s by Wednesday and Thursday. Be sure to download the Fox Carolina First Alert weather app. If you are traveling for spring break, you can, I mean, it goes with you. As long as you bring your phone with you, uh, it will travel with you, bring you the forecast for wherever you are, and it'll let you know if heavy rain, lightning, severe weather is close to your location so you can keep you and your family safe.